Hi, Year 7. It's time to take a bit of a break from circles and we're moving on today into area of rectangles. So first of all we want to talk about the units that we use when we talk about area. So we talked about the metric units before but when we're talking about area the metric units of area are millimeters squared, centimeters squared, meters squared and kilometers squared. So all of our units become square because that's what area is. We're counting up little bits of little squares inside our shapes. So a unit that you might not be familiar with is the hectare. Now usually you measure land. That's one example of where you would measure something in hectares, large pieces of land, not small bits of land. So large bits of land can be measured in hectares. The symbol for hectare is HA. And a hectare is equal to 10,000 meters squared. So that's a special one that gets a special mention. We also need to talk about a couple of formulas here for area. Today we're talking about rectangles mostly, but in that we also want to mention the square as well. So the formula for the area of a rectangle is A, a stands for area equals B times H. Now some people use different letters there. Some people say LB for length times breadth or L times W, length times width. There's different letters that you can, you can use there in the formula, but it just means the two dimensions of your rectangle need to be multiplied together to find the area. The area of a square well, because the side lengths of a square are the same, that just means we need to do whatever that side length is and square it. So in this case, I'm calling the side length L and we find the area by going A equals L squared. So here are some questions for us. Example number one, count the number of squares to find the area of the shape drawn on this centimeter grid. So you can count them up. I'll start with the full ones. I've got one, two, three, four, five complete squares in there. And this little triangle here would complete that square, which means that together those two parts would make a sixth one. So altogether we have six centimeters squared because area is always squared for the units. Okay, now that's something that you've probably learnt about before. We want to move on to these kind of ones in question two. Find the area of the shape below showing full working out. So first of all, you need to identify the shape. That shape is a rectangle. And you always start by writing down the formula. The formula for the area of a rectangle is A equals BH. Now you need to be careful when you do your test that you read the questions to make sure you know when you're doing perimeter, because perimeter is adding up all the sides, and when you're doing area, which is what we're doing now, you don't want to use the wrong process at the wrong time. So just be careful and read the questions carefully. So the base and the height of my rectangle would be nine and four. I would call the base 9 and the height 4, but it actually doesn't matter if you multiply them in the other in another order. So I'm going to write down here A equals 9 times 4, and 9 times 4 is equal to 36. We include the units, which will be centimetres squared for area. On the next page, B is a square. So we start by writing the formula. A is equal to L squared, L standing for the length of the side, which in this case is 60. So all I do is sub that in, that's going to be 60 squared, and 60 times 60 is going to be 3600 millimeters squared. Feel free to use your calculators if you need help with that. The squared button, I'll show you. So 60, the squared button is here with a little x to the power of 2. You press that, and that's how you put the squared into your calculator. Okay, question 3. So most of your questions will be like 
those ones that we've done there just you have a diagram you have a picture and you write the formula down you substitute into it to find your answer there is a couple of trickier questions so i wanted to do a couple of other types down here as well find the length of a square that has an area of 64 centimeters squared now some of you could probably tell me what that is without having to do any working out but I'm going to show you how you would do it with working out so that you can see the process that is involved. Now, because we're talking about a square and we're talking about area of a square, we're going to write down the formula for the area of a square, which is A is equal to L squared. Now, normally we know what L is and we put that into the formula, but this time we know what the area is and the area is 64. So we have 64 is equal to L squared. Now to find out what L is equal to, when we do equations, we, knew, we know that we do opposites. Now to get rid of a squared means that you want a square root. And in your calculator, the square root button looks like that. And you go square root of 64 is equal to eight. So the side, the length of that square would be eight, not squared, sorry, it would be eight centimeters. Now the other way you could do that at this line here would be to go what number times is by itself to give 64 and it would be 8 times 8 that gives you 64. Question 4, we want to convert 65,000 metres squared into hectares. Now remember that that was the special one that I wrote at the top of the page that there is 10,000 meters squared in a hectare. So I would need to divide that number by 10,000 to find out how many hectares that is. So if you type that in your calculator or if you move the decimal place, it's four zeros. So one, two, three, four jumps backwards is going to make that 6.5 hectares. One more question. A piece of land is in the shape of a rectangle that is 200 meters long and 300 meters wide. So sometimes it's good to draw yourself a little diagram just so that you can visualize what is going on. So 200 meters on one side and 300 meters on the other side. Find its area in hectares. Now to find an area, I know I need to use the formula for a rectangle, which is A equals BH. Then I sub in, so that's going to be 300 times 200. And I calculate that, which is 60,000 meters squared. The only difference with this question is that I need to be able to get my answer in hectares. So like what I was doing in question four, to go from meters squared to hectares, I need to divide that by 10,000. So if I divide by 10,000, which means I imagine this decimal point jumping back four places, that will make 6.0 or just six hectares. H-A, remember, is the symbol for hectares. All right, that is it. That is how we do area of rectangles and squares. So here is your work down the bottom. We're doing exercise seven page 20 to 23 of your workbook.